Tim Trotter, and today I'm going to show you how you can put synthesizer effects on vocal tracks in GarageBand. Not only are they cool, they can also be tons of fun. Here's how. When you've got GarageBand loaded up, go ahead and click on the info pane. Go over to effects, and click on any one of these effects over here. For this one, we're going to put on filter cam. Once it's loaded up, go ahead and hit play. You can alter any vocal track with just about any effect to have pretty incredible results. You can also change that to something a little more synthetic. Go ahead and click on Atari Sings, then hit play. You can alter any vocal track with just about any effect to have pretty incredible results. You can also change pitch and depth. Go ahead and hit vocals, and go over to no effects. Once that's selected, go to the right tab here under edit. Now, go over to the, one of these gray boxes here and click add an effect. You want to scroll down to the bottom under vocal transformer. Once you've got that, scroll your mouse over this icon here, which turns into these slider bars. Once you click that, you get another panel. And here you'll see the pitch and its sound low or high. You can choose presets such as monsters, droids, or anything that you want. Now, if you have a singing track, you can do much the same thing here. Just go back to Browse, and under Vocals, you'll find a number of effects well-suited for any sort of singing or other voice work you're doing. Go ahead and select Male R&D Vocals. You can alter any vocal track with just about any effect and have pretty incredible results. And there you have it. Those are just some of the millions of ways that you can alter voices or add synthetic effects to sound recordings in GarageBand. Thanks for watching.